What is up in this John? It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX bikes banger. Now before you guys adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes I am black and playing a dirt bike game. Um if you guys do not know, I am a little drunk right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm low-key hammered. MC hammered. Um I just got off streaming. Uh, I was actually W Night. Shout out to Myth for hosting a fun 2022 uh Kels Unadilla race and uh, all that jazz, but I won't get too far off track. Thank you, Steezy, for coming out with this track. I know it's uh, taking a minute for you to actually post this uh, track. Um, I've done one lap on this track so far. And uh, so far, now I'm starting to gel. But you can see my ghost. Um, I'm trying to figure out the lines. I feel like tables are going to be huge on this track. I know Detroit came out a little late, and we're posting this on race day for the actual am um, for the actual races. So hopefully you guys grind this out in the morning um, as this track comes out or as this video comes out. Hopefully you guys get to grind this out and at least get a little bit of track knowledge where you kind of understand like what's going to go on. And I guess I got to touch up on man like I hope no one takes this as like no offense or anything but like for the, uh, I've heard a lot of hate on this track or on his track saying like like there's no reason like his his way of scaling isn't scaled to Stone Rider. Of course not. Of course not they're not scaled to what Stone Rider is using. There's no reason, you, you, like, they're not the same people. Oh, that's a triple out. Yep, that's a triple out. You know, they're not the same people, and, like, this is something for you to step, you know, dip your feet in. For if you're going to grind it, like, uh, unfortunately, he didn't make this track, uh, like, you know, super early. So, you know, not on him. He had IRL stuff to do. And I also wanted to clear up, I do not make these tracks. Steezy makes these tracks. I've been getting a lot asking, like, hey, when are you going to release the track? Like, I don't make these tracks. Steezy do. So I just want to give a huge shout out for you guys even thinking that I did make the, do make these tracks because my name's all over it. But I got to give a huge shout out to Steezy for actually putting my name all over it and allowing me to lead the charts for all content creators at the moment for, you know, just being supportive man and showing that like we're better together than we are decimated you know we're, we're also here for the same goal and is that that's the grind that's for you guys to enjoy content from us you know so with that being said don't take um steezy's detroit or any of his um you know tracks as a negative take it as a positive you know no one else is out here being able to produce every week and actually try to give you a track map for you to actually learn you know it's a huge difference from you looking at it from a skybox view from an actual you know writing per um perspective you know everybody gets to look on the actual and you know the racing of supercross and look be like oh like that's the track map but like no one actually understands like repetition and actually riding the track is completely different from just looking at it from a skybox view so you guys got to take that into account and respect it that like no one else is actually willing to put in that work maybe it's not the best track in the world maybe it's not the best scaling but someone's at least trying to put in that effort to give you a track every week and for you guys to even downplay it and say that it's not like good to grind it's not about it's not about having the scaling maybe there's one thing that you could use or could jump on and maybe you can't do it on stone riders it's not about you literally hitting every big line and this and that it's about knowing that okay maybe that line's possible on stone riders but you already know stone riders is smaller scaling sp smaller using just know like any big lines that you hit on here is not going to be viable there so like that's just common sense and that's like you having like track knowledge and i i guess i got i, I guess i gotta like also throw it out there respectfully a lot of you guys you are one lap heaters you know like one lap warriors where you guys literally set down a heater heater and then after that you guys can't even have any racecraft which i gotta stop doing this that is not a viable line i think i gotta hit that table and then single out which i'm gonna go back over and do right now before i go any farther that way i don't do it over again well that being said you guys are a, a lot of you guys are one lap warriors where you guys don't really put in that time to actually train and, and work on the on the craft to where you guys get in the track, you guys qualify. Yeah, okay, mate, yeah. Triple off, or single out, actually. So it's table, triple, single off. But a lot of you guys qualify with these one-lap you know, one lap heaters, and then you guys' racecraft sucks. And I'll, I'll keep it a buck. Like, your guys' racecraft sucks. I'm not saying my racecraft is the best, but I'm being honest right now. A lot of you guys literally get on that track and suck at being able to ride for 15 minutes plus two and or 10 minutes, seven minutes plus two. You guys suck and I'll call you out on it. I'll be on it, 100% honest. A lot of you guys suck at that. And it's just like, it's just like you guys literally frown upon about Steezy coming out with these tracks and saying, well, it's not the perfect scaling, it's not this. It's a track for you to get the familiar, like familiarize to be able to use like as like a stepping stone for you to actually ride the track, you know? And a lot of you guys are just preying on the downfall. I appreciate Steezy. I appreciate everybody that he's put in this track to be able to like go forward from here. 
a lot of you guys just take it for granted, you know? One person, maybe two people, maybe have like made one track. One track for one for one series. He literally is coming out with every track every every weekend or every week. Let's make it make sense. It, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be pitch perfect. But at least you get something to ride, right? So I'm I'm done. I'm done ranting. I'm done ranting. I feel like right now you guys probably have clicked off the video at that point for me ranting. But I think it's a good rant to let you guys know where my 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 head is for you guys that have been like hating on my boy. And and it's not all haters. A lot of people enjoy these tracks. I've been having it all weekend saying, bro, come on, like drop the track, drop the track. Like I'm not the host, you know. Like if he says he has IRL stuff going on, he has IRL stuff on. Like I appreciate you guys thinking I'm the host, but like. Then at the end, like, I do appreciate you guys actually wanting this track to practice. This is more or less just you getting familiarization. Oh, can I triple over? Yes. Okay. So if you go over the table, I feel like a good a good jump will go over the table, triple, double out. That might be the line I and for Stone Rider. See? And your certain your certain lines that do work. Your certain lines that do work that you see on this track that won't work on on you know vice versa. But it's just like it's just like common sense at that point. If, if if you know that track, if that line's too big, don't use it for 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 um the aerial. Like be honest. Like make it make sense. Like I think last time of Anaheim two, a lot of people talked about oh you can't you could jump on Steezy's uh you know table, but you can't do it on and on Stone Riders. They use two different track layouts and two different track mappings for them to create tracks. N one person is going to be absolutely correct, and other no either either or. The other person isn't correct. It's just the way they made the track, to be honest with you. And with that being said, oh wait, can I jump over this? No, I can't. That's a triple out for sure. But with that being said, it's just like simple as it is. Like nothing ever is going to be scaled to like how your liking is or like what you think you could have hit. You know what I mean? You got to adjust and you got to be able to adapt. Biggest thing. A lot of you guys literally cry and sit here and moan and complain talking about, well, Steezy had it like this. Why can't it be like this on Stone Riders? Adapt. Straight up. Adapt. Nothing, nothing is ever going to be catered to you. You have to adapt. You have to be able to be, um, you know, be able to understand change and know that nobody's the same in this game, you know, and we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be hating on people creating tracks like this or like lesser of people, you know, everybody starts somewhere. Everybody grinds somewhere. Like, where do you think, um, Stone Riders and or JV's tracks and or Steezy's tracks like first started off? They were probably butt hot onions, I, a, you know, ass and onions. I'll say it straight up ass and onions. You know what I'm saying? Like it was probably shoot up super ass and onions, but like let's make it make sense. They all progress and it worked on the craft. With you guys not supporting them and you guys saying like this isn't it, this and that, how how are they supposed to get better and feel like the community is supposed to be on their support? We're all one team, one fight. When you guys decimate this community for us to be out to where it's like we're fighting for each other or fighting against each other, it's it's in the wrong it's in the wrong direction. You know? And I feel like this Detroit this Detroit um Right now, this Detroit kind of like preview is me more or less ranting about a lot of stuff, but it's just like me coming to light. I'm drunk. At the end of the day, I'm drunk and I'm going to speak my mind right now. It's just like a lot of you guys out there want the best of the best and not everybody's at the best of the best. Everybody wants to work on that craft. I think anybody would willingly come out. Stone Rider, JV, anybody that's like top tier right now will sell you. TFC will be like, I started off as just as a scrub as anybody else. It's all about learning and it's about putting in that repetition. You don't let nobody get the repetition. How are you going to see them grow? How are you going to let them see advance? How you gonna how you gonna let them do anything if you literally just hate on the and prey on their downfall? Let's make it make sense. Let's make that one make sense and then let's let's reevaluate. But with that being said, overall this is a super short track, super short track. I mean I gotta say like this is like 10 out of 10 depending on ruts being added and all that. This is gonna be a hot lap of under a minute for sure. Um, I'm running a 52.5, depending on what Stone Rider is going to throw in and what lines could be possible. We're looking at a sub sub one minute for sure. Maybe 49s on the faster riders, and I'm not even on the 250. And I won't get on the 250 right now because I feel like I'm going to be doing worse justice than better justice, um, knowing that I'm drunk. But if you guys hear any words today, I'm glad and I thank thankful for Steezy to be able to give these tracks every week. I do apologize and on on his behalf and on my own behalf for not being able to get these tracks out earlier. Hey, when IRL calls, IRL calls, man. This is just a video game at the end of the day. Trust me. Um, with that being said, thank you guys so much for the support. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep grinding. Let's get some actual laps and let's ride. Let's, let's ride for a bit. Let's stop talking. Let's stop ranting. I felt like that was a super long rant. and But hey, I, I hopefully it kept you guys inclined. Hopefully you guys give you an argument in the comment section. Um, and, you know, you know, all criticism is criticism. Let's go here. Table over. Triple. It's triple and then triple out. So table, triple, triple. So far, that's what I've seen. 
450 line might be quad in. You might be able to hit a quad in on that one. On the outside one. And then, you know, maybe triple double out. That might be the line for you guys. So we'll talk more about it. But this is it. And then one whoop section right before the finish line. Easy peasy. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? And then the sand section. This is huge. I, I mean, honestly, sand sand's going to be a huge part in all of these tracks. And we are on East Coast at that. We are on the East Coast. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit of um, IRL. I heard McAdoo's a little hurt. I heard Deegan's a little hurt, like confirmed with a wrist. So we, honestly, being Sunday, we might see a lot of people that we want to see win might not even show up. So I don't know. We might have to see whether they're going to be crybabies about it or they're going to man up and, 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 you know, pull up to the task. But I heard Deegan's out, and that's a fan favorite, McAdoo. Um... But Austin Forkner, to be honest, if Austin Forkner, Forkner can stay healthy for me, my personal opinion, if he can stay healthy, I'm seeing him stay in podium all the time. But he's got to stay consistent. He's got to get a good start. He doesn't get a good start. He's donezo. Let's make it make sense. Like last year, no good starts. I mean, he went out A1, did not come back the rest of the season. I saw him at Wall Shugel, kind of got messed up even there. So it's just like, like wh when are you going to be able to shine? He's almost like RJ, you know, Mr. Can't get right. So... We just got to figure it out, man. We got to we got to put it to the test. We got to put it to the track and be able to ride. So I think Austin Forkner, if he stays healthy, will be the only challenge. Maybe um, um, McAdoo will be uh, a challenge for Deegan. But I do definitely see Deegan coming out as the overall, you know, point blank. You know, I, I'm not a huge Deegan fan, but at the end of the day, you got to respect his riding. You got to respect how much grind he's put into the game and you know, not necessarily the game, but like the game of supercross let's go wide let's go wide let's try this see what i'm saying yeah quad in triple quad in triple triple so you actually jump over the table like the the line you would do with table single out triple triple you could do for a 450 and actually quad in triple triple so that might be faster i might be faster this right here you might be able to triple into right there on a quad and then triple out i don't know it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fast track it's gonna be a fast track for detroit and i'm super excited oh, hopefully us ams uh get a really good time and really get um kind of flowing on the track but i'm super excited i'm super happy for you guys to test this track out that's really all i have for you guys man i don't really don't have much i guess i'll end the video right here we're going up on 13 minutes thank you guys so much for the support um let's go ahead and go a little around if you guys stuck this long to the video blaze mx um w people noob um new uh mx uh brayden ngs you know ibs kelser smokester powdered stratos skizzy you know this is huge man this is small but huge man thank you guys so much steezy thank you for coming out i know it's a little late i am mad trust me i'm able to grind i'm still gonna be able to grind a little bit tomorrow you guys all stay safe and it's your boy ibs kelso pa 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 pa